all right today we're going to install the new window regulator on this jeep wrangler here's the old one and here is the new one we're going to be using a torque sturdy to remove the two bolts that are holding it down once you remove it this comes into play put that to the side and we'll go ahead and lay in the new one we'll start out from here and we'll go ahead and put this bolt into place and we'll bring this down but we won't tie it down until we have the other one into place but this bracket's in the way so we're going to go ahead and remove this motor that way it frees up and we're able to adjust this and uh, slide it up put that bolt in there secure it down then secure this one then we'll be able to put the motor in through the other side and secure it down right here so for that we're going to be using a 10 millimeter socket to remove these so let's go ahead and remove these from here and we'll just set these over to the side we'll go ahead and lift this up and out you might need both hands for this all right and there it is now we'll go ahead and bring this down and now we're able to actually move this so we'll go ahead and put our bolt into place then we'll go ahead and secure this bracket down and there it is nice and secured on both ends we'll bring this back down perfect all right and there it is i have the motor through through the other side now there's little latches here and here so they're going to go into these little slots there then we'll twist them into place so i think we're actually going to have to bring this motor down a little bit yeah because those stems are not going to allow us to move this side to side so let's go ahead and secure these into place here all right and there it is now we'll go ahead and throw the motor over through the bottom and out all right i was having a little trouble putting this in so this has to be a certain way so what i think you need to do is line this up after you adjust this so you can clamp down then once you have that adjusted then we'll go ahead and bring this down secure it into place now put in the motor because this has to line up perfectly with this gear and this has to be in a certain spot in order for that to go in there because you can still bring it a lot down uh, since we have to move this to tighten that bolt you want to align this with that motor first before we move on to this next process it's gonna save some headache all right and there it is I'm not gonna lie that was a bit sweet now that motor is attached compressed all the way there it is sucker's not going anywhere we're ready to install this window regulator back into this jeep all right first thing we're going to do is go ahead and pick this window up probably going to need both hands to apply pressure on the door window because it will come back down then we'll go ahead and put this window regulator in and the window's going to sit right on that plastic clip right there all right what you want to do is pass these cables through here through the back there's also a pigtail we have to plug in right back in here so we'll go ahead and plug that in pass our wires uh, we're gonna get both of these window regulator metal brackets inside of here then we'll start bolting it down so we have to make sure we plug everything back into place because we won't be able to get this out all right and there it is i have the window sitting on the regulator you can see it here uh now what we're gonna do is connect everything back together and before we move on we're gonna test this out make sure everything is working all right i have the key in the ignition and we'll see if it goes up Ha <laughs> all the way and all the way down sweet so it is working correctly now we'll just finish bolting everything down uh connected the main switch to this one here that's where it goes to this stays on the door and this goes connected to this pigtail this one here goes connected to this little pigtail here the one that we connected behind the door is this one here that goes back there then this one will be your lock switch this one goes connected right into the main switch so we'll go ahead and pull this one off i'm uh, probably gonna need both hands for this one there it is and we'll finish this off so let's go ahead and continue bolting this down 
we'll go ahead and secure all of these. We start off with this one, so we'll do it just like a tire. We'll do it crisscross. That's all of them. Sweet. Now we'll go ahead and put the door handle back into place. We're gonna go ahead and put those into here. They go accordingly to color. Yellow with yellow, white with white. So you'll just insert them here. Lock them into place. Oh, I'm gonna need both hands. All right, and there it is. Now we'll go ahead and put this into place here. It's gonna go into this little slot right there to that one there just like so and <laughs> oh there's another one up here line both of them up slide that back and uh, secure it into place all right and there it is and we'll go ahead and put in this torch screw all right and i removed the bolt from there because like we're gonna have to use that one for this one here and this one is going to be a torque sturdy so we'll go ahead and secure that down. And now we'll clip this cable here. This one down there. And uh, I believe this one goes here. Put this over you like that. Press that in. <laughs> Whoops, wrong hole. <laughs> That's what she said. That one's gonna go there. And then this one is going to go right to the lock switch. So there we have it. And that is essentially how you install a new window regulator on this Jeep Wrangler. Uh, I was going to do the door, but that would be for another video. Because I am making a video of how to remove the door, a video of how to remove the window regulator, a video of how to install the window regulator, and a video of how to install the door. If all that makes sense. <laughs> Uh, I'll stop wasting everybody's time. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.